in this video and most probably in the next video also I'm going to show you how we can create a simple notepad using Qt so what we are going to do is we will try to apply whatever whatever we have learned till now in this video and try to create a small a little project which is a, a Qt notepad so let's get started first of all I've created the simple empty project so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my main window.ui file and in here first of all I will uh, just take a text box okay so just uh, take this text add it from here and uh, drag and drop into your form now what you can do here is you can apply a layout to uh, this window which is for example you can apply this horizontal layout okay so it will cover all your um, all your uh, main window now next uh, step is uh, to create some menu items so uh, what we will do is let's create some menu items here and the standard menu item is file for example and I will just keep file with capital F and inside the file I will just add a new option and then the second option will be to open something so second option I will just say open and then I will provide a separator here and then I will say save and press enter and then save as so just write save as and press enter okay so we have I think we have three separators somehow so I will just remove two separators from here okay now uh, in the second menu item I will just say add it and the first menu item would be for example uh, cut and the so cut with capital C cut and then press enter then uh, copy so just write copy and then the paste so just write paste okay and we will add a separator here and after the separator we will uh, just give for example redo and undo so just write redo and uh, here just write undo okay and the third menu option we will provide here for example would be about this notepad so I will just say about okay so these are the menu items uh, I have added and uh, we have learned in our previous video how uh, Q action class works so whenever you create a menu item here all the you know related uh, Q action uh, objects are created here also right so you have uh, new and open save save as whatever menu item you have created here there are some uh, actions also created here right so the next uh, step is to provide some icons to our uh, uh, all the menu items so we will add a resource file first so I will go to my project right click on my project and I will say add new and then qt resource file qt resource file and then i will name uh, my resource file as uh, resource itself and click next and then click finish it will create a resource file for me and then i will go here add and i will add a prefix for example uh, rec for resource and once this uh, prefix is created i can add my uh, icons so why what I have done is I have already downloaded uh, the icons and saved it in my project folder so I, I can click any uh, file here and I will say show in Explorer and uh, it will show me uh, this kind of project structure what I have right and I have created the, an extra uh, folder here and I have uh, downloaded some of the icons here right so I will choose these icons from my project uh, file so you can download and create an image folder in your project and then you can uh, add it as resources right so add files and I will go to image folder and I will choose all instead of this and click OK so it will add all the 
uh, icons in my resource file and then I will just say control s to save the resources so that I can use them right so now I will go to main window.ui file once again and I will uh, provide the icons here so I will uh, just double click here and uh, the name uh, I will leave it as default but from here I want to provide the icon so for new I will just choose a new icon if I can find it this one okay and this click okay and in the same way I will just double click every uh, you know every action and I will just provide the icon to it so open click OK and I will do the uh, same for rest of uh, them so I will just pause the video and then continue after I uh, added all the icons right so I have added all the icons here and if you have followed my Q action tutorial you would know that I can just drag uh, these actions to my toolbar here and they will be visible also right so I will drag it here and then uh, all the icons in my toolbar also okay so one by one I will add them cut and then copy and then paste and I have two more uh, redo and undo right and I think I just forget the about uh, menu items I will just add uh, for example about uh, for example notepad right and press enter and then I will just add the icon for this also so I will just search for about and click OK and then I will just uh, drag and drop here now if I want to add a separator for my toolbar also I can just go here in between uh, save as and cut for example right click here and I will say insert separator before action cut so it will add the this kind of separator here also I want to insert the separator before uh, redo and uh, paste so I will just go here and do here I wanted to do it uh, before uh, the redo so like this and also before uh, the about so like this okay so you can also set the these kind of separators right now first of all let's try to run our app and let's see how it looks like so I'm going to run it and you can see it looks like this okay so now what we can do is we can write some code uh, for uh, this thing so next step to uh, add some code so that these functions or buttons or menu items uh, must work so the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this kind of uh, this uh, space from the side you can see a little bit of space uh, here at the side of uh, this uh, text uh, edit right so I'm going to go to my uh, edit mode and I will go to a main window.cpp file and in the constructor I will just say this dot uh, set central vis widget okay and uh, the widget will be UI and your uh, text edit name okay and now let's run the code again and let's see uh, what happens when we run the code so now you can see the spaces are gone from the side right so this is why I wanted to uh, you know write this code now the next step I will go to main window.ui file and I want to add the trigger for every actions right so if you remember how I used uh, you know uh, trigger in actions you can just uh, right click on uh, your action and then uh, just click uh, this go to slot and then you can just uh, choose triggered here right and then click OK so it will create a trigger for your every action so I will just pause the video and I will provide uh, the trigger to each and every action what we have here so I will just right click on each of the actions and provide the trigger to it okay so I have provided a trigger to each and every action what I have now the most maybe complicated part for uh, this notepad would be creating a new uh, 
file or open a file so let's deal with the simple stuff first and then uh, we will uh, deal with the complicated stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide the code for uh, for example cut copy paste and redo and undo let's check uh, how it works so i'm going to go to uh, the trigger which says uh, action cut triggered which is for my cut action and here i will just write ui and then i will call my uh, text edit so just write uh, text edit and then just call cut okay so there is a function called cut and that's it okay so same i'm going to do with uh, paste also so just dot uh, paste and this is the function and same i'm going to do with the copy so on action copy so i will just uh, paste this code and then i will just call copy function here right same i will do for redo and undo so this is my redo triggered so i will just call uh, redo function here and also undo function so i will just call a uh, undo function right now there are uh, some more uh, you know uh, functions here which you can play with but uh, right now we are just creating a very simple uh, you know uh, notepad there is uh, this function called undo available it will check if uh, the undo is available or not and it will give the boolean value and if undo is available then it will uh, say true or false and then you can check if the undo is available or not right but for now we will just uh, deal with the simple uh, things right so save and save as and uh, open and new i will leave for uh, now and let's run the code and let's see uh, if uh, this code works for cut copy paste and uh, redo and undo okay so what i'm going to do is i will just provide uh, some uh, text here and first of all i will cut and it's cutting and then i will uh, paste it so just paste it so it's pasting and then uh, i will just uh, copy this code and i will paste it again and it's pre pasting right and then i will just uh, click the undo button it will undo my changes and then i will press the redo button it redoing my things right so undo and redo so all my buttons are working and now the remaining thing is new uh, open save and uh, save as and about button now we will try to complete the rest of the code for new open save and save as uh, buttons so let's get started so in the last video i have uh, provided the trigger for each of uh, these actions right so let's uh, just uh, you know go to these uh, trigger actions and then uh, write some code there so first of all i will uh, go to my uh, header file which is main window dot h file and in here i will uh, declare a string variable which will be a q string and i will name it as a file name and uh, this file name we will uh, use to uh, just uh, save the path of the file okay you can just uh, say here file path which will be more clear okay so just declare this uh, variable in the private uh, access modifier here which is file path which is a q string variable now we are going to go to our main window dot uh, cpp file and first of all we will go to the code for the new uh, button okay so this is our new button which is uh, this one right so we will write the code for that which uh, will be a little bit simple so i will just call uh, the variable which i have declared which is uh, file path and i will just set it to uh, empty string right so whenever somebody creates um, a new or whenever somebody clicks this new button this file path will be resetted and we want to clear the uh, text edit also so we can just write ui and then uh, text edit and we can just set text to uh, empty string right so you can just write like this 
so we are basically here doing the, the resetting of uh, the text edit and this global variable which is uh, file path now let's go to uh, the open uh, button triggered um, function which is for opening the new file right now if you have followed my q file video and q file dialog video then uh, uh, it will be really simple uh, to you know understand this code which i am writing so what we need to do is first of all we need to uh, open a q file dialog here so i will just uh, write q file dialog but first of all i need to include the header for this right so i will just include a header for um, q file dialog so just write q file we also need q file so i will just add this also right so q file and then i will include a q file dialog and we also need to include one more header file which is q text stream so just write q text stream and we are done including the header so we can write the code here right so first of all in here we will declare our q string variable which uh, we will use to uh, save the file name using the q file dialog so just write uh, q string q file name is equal to q file uh, dialog and then call a static method which is get open uh, file name and we will just provide two variables here first is the parent and second is the caption or title for this so for example open the file right and rest of the rest of the argument uh, i'm not going to provide right so if you want to uh, provide the default location third argument will be for the default location and the fourth argument will be for the filters but uh, i hope you uh, know how to do this i have shown you in the previous video how to use q file dialog so now we have the file name using the q file dialog and then what we are going to do here is we will declare a uh, object of uh, q file here and we will just pass this uh, file name here which we got from the q file dialog right and now we will just provide a if condition and we will check if uh, this file so just write not and then we'll write file dot open so we will check if the file is open or not and then we will provide some flags here first will be a uh, q file uh, read only so just write read only and uh, the second flag will be uh, the text file so we want to read a text file right so just write q file and then just call text here right so the, these are the two flags and if the file is not open then we don't want to work with the file so we want to just show some uh, message right so we can add one more uh, include here for a q message so just include uh, this q message box header class and then we will uh, just add a q message box and third is the warning uh, message so i will just say file not open okay so i will show this message and then i will return right because if the file is not open we don't want to work with the file and because this function is uh, void returning void so we can just uh, write return and then from here the program will not go further right and if the file is open then we want to perform some code so we can just write q text uh, stream so just write text stream and then give the variable name and then give the reference to the file and then we can work with uh, this stream so just write q uh, string here and we will name it as uh, text and whatever uh, is there in the stream 
we will pass to this string so just write in dot read all okay and uh, once we have the string we can set it to our uh, text edit so just write ui text edit and then just write set text and we will just pass this text uh, to our here to our edit text okay and once you are done with uh, the code you can just close the file so just write the file dot close okay so this is how you can uh, read the file now for uh, writing or saving uh, the file what you can do here is you can just copy all the code and now we will go to the save uh, uh, trigger button right so this is save and we also need to write some code for save as right so first we will write the code for save okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, copy and paste the same code and i will just change uh, this code a little so just copy the code you have written here and paste it here in the save uh, triggered right and this time instead of uh, using get open file dialog we will uh, just call a method called get save file dialog okay so just uh, write get save file name and then the argument will be the same and then it will uh, ask you the to provide the file name and then uh, you will have the file name here and then we can save the file right so in the case of writing the file we just need to provide the flag which is write only and the second flag will be the same right and uh, then instead of uh, q stream in we want to provide for example this argument will be out and instead of uh, getting the uh, you know in stream or text from the stream we want to get the text from the text edit right so just write uh, edit text call uh, to plain text okay which will give you the text of the text edit okay and then at the last we can uh, take our uh, out variable from here and then we can just pass our text to uh, this variable out okay which is like this okay and then uh, at the end we just need to flush the file first of all and then close the file so first flush it and then close it as we have seen in the uh, previous videos and i think here this code will be for uh, the save as i just uh, wrote a little bit uh, not wrong but uh, i should have uh, written this code for save as and for save we just need to get the global variable and pass it here right so what we are going to do here is once in the open function whenever we are opening the file we need to just take this uh, file name and pass it to our global variable which is file name right so in the open go to open here and then uh, just use file path is equal to file name right so it will be saved globally right and then take your file path from here and then uh, we will provide it in the save uh, function right so instead of uh, calling the file stream we can just provide directly the path of the file which we want to save right because it's already open okay and in save as we want to give the user the ability to uh, use this uh, file dialog okay so that's why we want to use this kind of code so save as and then the file uh, name will be new and then uh, it, it can be saved okay and in here we want to uh, just give the file name again so file path is equal to file name okay so let's run the code and let's see if it works or not so i'm going to just um, run the code and now it's running so what i'm going to do first of all i will uh, first of all uh, create some files so i will uh, just 
add some uh, random uh, text here or let me do one thing I will just copy uh, this code from here and I will paste it here okay and then I want to save it so first of all I am going to uh, save this file and I will uh, click this button which says save as right so I will just click this button which will uh, give me the file dialog and this is the location where my binary of my project is right so I will just give uh, the name of my file for example my file dot txt and I will just save it okay and then for example I just uh, want to clear this file so I will just click new button and then for example I want to open the same file so I will go here uh, to open the file to click this button open and then I will just choose my file which I have created which is my file and click open which will open my file like this okay and now for example I want to uh, you know give some comments here so I will just provide uh, some uh, comment and I want to save it so I will just click this save button which will save my file right and now I want to just uh, clean it or I will just say new and I will open the file once again and you can see my comment is already there because I have saved this comment right and then I can uh, undo or redo uh, whenever I uh, add something for example this I want to undo I can do it or redo I can do it or other functionality we have already seen cut copy paste right now the last thing here is to give the about uh, you know button here so it's really easy uh, you may know what to do here so I will just go to about button and in here I will just call a Q message box so just write Q message box and then call about button and uh, in here it will take three argument as always first will be uh, the text or, or the parent so just write uh, this second argument will be uh, the text right so let's create some uh, text or a message so for example I will just write Q string and uh, I will just say about text okay and then I can create some text so what I will do here is uh, for example I will just add some text so So uh, this text I'm going to pass here so this will be shown in the about button right I think I should have provided the title also here right so it will be correct so for example uh, about notepad okay so this is, can be our about button so I'm going to run the code and let's see if it works or not so I will just click this uh, about button and it will give me uh, this uh, kind of uh, about uh, message I forgot to give this line breaks here so let's provide these line breaks so it will look a little bit nicer and let's run the code once again and uh, let's see what happens so once again and now the message looks a little bit cleaner okay so in this way you can uh, create this notepad uh, I will say this notepad is not entirely perfect you can uh, use your imagination to add some more functionality to this notepad uh, and uh, it's not also bug free so just uh, search uh, for the bugs if you can find any bug you can uh, just uh, comment uh, and I will try to uh, you know remove that box so I hope you have understood this uh, concept and I hope you enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for now